Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install MySQL latest version that is 8.4 on Windows 11 operating system. But the installation process is same on all Windows operating systems like server or Windows 10 or 11. Okay, first go to mysql.com. It is the official website for MySQL. Then click on downloads. Then scroll down. See here we have the MySQL community downloads. Click on it. Then see this is for a server and click on MySQL community server. See here we have the version 8.4.0. This is for 64 bit MSI installer. Click on this download to start the installation of MySQL 8.4. Click on download. Then click on no thanks just to start download. See download has been started and its size is 128 megabytes. Wait until download completes. See download has been completed. Then click on if you want to show in folder you have to click on this button or click on now to install it you have to click on open file. Click on next select this checkbox to accept terms in the license agreement. See these are the license agreements. Okay, Click on next. Here we have the three options typical custom and complete. Custom only we can select the features like client progress and all. Okay. Back select the complete then click on install. See installation has been started. See setup is completed. Now we have to run the MySQL configurator. So keep the checkbox as it is and click on finish. Click on next. Don't select the first one. Select the configure server instance as a side by side installation. See this is the installation directory for the MySQL. If you want to change click on browse. Otherwise click on next. See the port number is 3306. Name pipe C. MySQL MySQL. Then click on next. Now we have to provide the password for root user and then confirm the same if you want see it is weak password it's okay if you want add mysql user account you have to click on add then you have to provide username then password and roles see here we have the different roles then you have to assign the roles at present i don't want so click on next and this is the service name in the services console Run Windows Services Standard System Account, then click on Next. Grant Full Access, Next. If you want to create this Sakilan Wall Database, select both and click on Next. This is only for practice, but in real time it is not required. So click on Next. See, these are the steps it is going to perform. So click on Execute. If you want to see the logs, here we can see. Okay. If you want to uncheck anyone, you have to go back and come forward then click on execute to start the configuration click on execute see configuration success then click on next if you want to save the log information click on copy log to clipboard clipboard okay so i don't want click on finish we have successfully installed mysql 8.0 go to start applications go to mysql folder see here we have the mysql in the drop down see we have the mysql command line client click on it provide the password select version But here it is clearly showing the version. It is 8.4. Anyway, if you want to check, see we have installed MySQL 8.4. Until now, we have seen how to install and configure MySQL. If you want to set the password for root account or root user, use the command alter user root data localhost identified by new password. New password give the Password. We have successfully set the password for root account. So 
suppose if you want to verify the list of the databases give the command show databases see except this scrakila and vault remaining are the default databases comes with mysql installation if you want to create any database create database R2. show databases again now if you want to create a table in new database that is rt schools you have to switch to new database by using use rt schools then create a table create table show tables see we have one table let us insert some data into this table insert one more row this time we are not changing the s number I am doing wantedly. See, we got the constant violation. So, S number must be unique. So, because we have given it as primary. See, we have successfully inserted. Let us verify the data in this table. See, we have three rows. If you want to exit from this one, use the exit command. Until now, we have seen how to run these SQL statements in MySQL command line client. Now we will see how to connect to MySQL a for from dbver. Open dbver. If you want to install dbver on your machine, then go to the link provided in the video description and install it. Now click on this new database connection. Then select MySQL. Then click on next. See, server host is localhost and port number 3306. Provide the database name. Then provide the password of root account. If you want to save password locally, you have to select this checkbox. I don't want so click on finish. See, right click and click on connect. Then provide the password. See here, in databases, we have the databases. Now we can create database. Right click on databases, then create, then select create new database. Then provide test one. And these are the cassette and collation settings for this database. Click on OK. See, new database is added. Even if you go to MySQL client, if you use the show databases, it will be there. See, new database test one is there. We can drop the database by using command drop database test one. See database gone. RF again show database. See that database gone, but still it is showing. So right click on databases and click on refresh. See new database gone. Okay, if expand users. See these are the default users comes with MySQL installation. So to create user. Click on execute. See, we have successfully created. Okay, if you right click on users, refresh. See, new user James is added. Even if you go to the MySQL client, show users. This won't work. Okay, we have to check by running the command select user from MySQL dot user. See, new user is added. Okay, I will create separate video for how to install MySQL, MySQL workbench and connect to this mysql 8.4 okay let's see how to stop start and restart mysql service on windows server go to services.msc then just press m then see here we have the mysql 84 see status of service is running if you want to restart right click on it then select restart 
or select this restart button. Restart link or click on this restart service button. All three are same. If you want to stop, right click on it and click on stop. But once you stop, you try to refresh this one. See, error refreshing node because connection failed. See, communication link fail, failure. Okay, so even if you open MySQL client, MySQL command line client, see the pop up just come and gone. So we have to start it now. Refresh this one, right click, refresh, expand it, provide the password. See, we are able to connect, even you can able to open MySQL command like client see we are able to okay now give the password of root user see we have successfully connected so in this video we have seen how to install and configure mysql 8.4 on windows 11 operating system but the process is same on all windows operating systems for more mysql videos please subscribe my channel thank you